Good day. Welcome to this tutorial. Uh, we're going to be covering uh, rendering, and we'll look at also um, setting the location, time, and and date. So last time we kind of got everything happening um, in terms of furniture. So I put a little bit of furniture just in this room. Um, I haven't furbished my house much, but hopefully you have put you know some key bits in. Doors are open and whatnot. So obviously it's still more work to do. But in this video, as I said, rendering, date, location, and whatnot. So rendering is when it really starts to come together. Uh, ArchiCAD does a really, really good job of producing renders. Uh, you, we can export it to other software. Um, Unity is really good if you want to make it a virtual reality interactive thing. Um, and, and we might cover that at a later point. But um, by default, there's already a really good built-in engine. So just how do I render something? first step um, we got the top to document creative imaging and photo rendering settings in future we can just hit this one but we go to the settings in the f in the first instance now by default it's got probably this um, indoor daylight medium so there's normally um, medium fast final so final is in it's going to take a long time to render uh, fast will be really quick so medium's good and what we can actually do up here straight away is we can just press this green button and it will start to render uh, your computer might take longer or shorter than mine um, but essentially each little pixel is uh, getting mathematically generated here um, so this is where graphics card comes in pretty handy uh, I've got a 1080 in this machine alright so this just gives us a quick snapshot of what that's going to look like uh, which is handy, so I can just reposition my view if I want to. Uh, and then, when I'm happy, I can just press down here and photo render. So, um, again, it'll take a little bit of time. Uh, some computers will take longer. I won't sit you through um, too many renders. Uh, just not needed. Um, but again, it's actually a really beautiful process. And, and we're seeing how the, the rendering engine, which is Maxon by default from ArchiCAD, how it's projecting the light and reflections. It's all pretty amazing. And keep in mind, we haven't put any lamps and lights in yet. That's what we'll do in our next video. So it's pretty impressive with what it's doing. Now, uh, it's created um, additional files up here. So we actually have to save it at the end. And down the bottom left corner, we can see um, the, the processing and what's happening. Uh, and often it'll give us a bit of a projected time down here. This has been going for almost a minute, um, and that might probably go for another another minute or two. Now, also the resolutions here, um, we can change it. Oh, look, great. This is really starting to come in now. Okay. And I, and I can obviously cancel that. Um, often, you're better off just to let it run because um, halting it will still uh, take up a lot of the computer pa power. Um, so my, my CPU is working pretty hard, my GPU is working pretty hard. But that's a really nice picture, so I can just save that uh, as a TIFF or PNG um, for whatever I want to use that for. Okay, so that's how I do it. Uh, it's not saved by default. Okay, so I need to save it if I ever want to see that picture again. Uh, it's okay in my case, I'm happy to produce some other ones. Okay, so what else might we want to consider? So up the top, we might look at the location. So at the top we'll go to Options, we're going uh, Project Preferences and Location Settings. Uh, now in our instance we're pretty happy with the default, mine's defaulted to Sydney which is really good. Uh, in theory we can actually enter a specific address. Um, or latitude and longitude, we can change the elevation. Uh, and in a pretty cool way, um, I can show you where I am in Google Maps as to where um, the sun study, so to speak, is going to be happening. So it has got me, what's that? Botanic Gardens in Sydney, beautiful. There's the Opera House, there's the Harbour Bridge. Um, yeah, not a bad part to be designing my house for. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. I won't change the elevation and I'll press OK. Uh, next, um, in that render, you could see the grass outside and it was sunny. What we can do is we can do, um, we can change the 
the time and date. Uh, so we right click over here on the right hand side, generic perspective, and we come to 3D projection settings. Now I'm not going to cover these until later when we talk about cameras, but what we can do is we can talk date and time. You might want to say that it's in January, and obviously that's going to be a, a hotter sun in Sydney, uh, and you can then change the timing. Okay, I'm going to let you play around with that. We're not going to. Okay, so that's how we do it. Now let's just go back to our um, document creative Im imaging and we'll go to settings. So we've already covered how to do like a nice internal and that medium quality is pretty good. I don't think we need to go uh, into the super high quality. Um, but just for instance, what happens if I do an outdoor daylight um, and I might just do this to save us time. Already we'll notice that there's lamps and illumination, so it's something that we'll need to turn on when we, um, when we actually put some lights in, and that's what we'll cover in our next video. Uh, we can put a background in, and I might cover that at the end. So look, just really quickly, we can see that when we set this for outdoor, it's um, not looking great because not much light is getting filtered through uh, this um, sunny window, which has got blinds covering most of it. Okay, so maybe not ideal at this point in time, but once we put lights in, that's going to look really nice. Um, if we come down here, we can click on show more, and there's actually a heap of options. And unfortunately, like there's almost too many options. Um, we can really uh, run into run into some issues. So what we can do though, that's really nice, is we can change it to a white model. And so we'll just do white model fast. Let's have a look at this. So white model. Essentially, this is more conceptual productions uh, over its early stages, and it will look really nice um, and really quick. Okay, it's the same as when we, when we actually make the um, make the model. Often we'll use um, foam core or or paylight or something like that, and so this kind of simulates what that might look like. Okay, now the other thing is the engine. I might just put this back to that initial setting, indoor daylight medium. Um, but if I go to sketch, let's just, without touching anything, I'm just going to hit draw. Okay, I don't know where that's coming from, because um, that's not quite this. But let's see it again. Okay, this is not a two-story house. All right, I'll hit, I'll hit go on this. There we go. That happens super quick, and it's, it's a really nice way to take out some visualizations and, and see, um, you know, bare bones. What what's my house going to look like? And this can save us a lot of time setting up our our cameras and our render locations uh, by going into that sketch mode. Okay, basic renderer. I'm not going to worry about covering. Um, I think Maxon does a really nice job. Um, and as I've sort of said earlier, lamps, illumination um, will cover when we start to put lights in. Okay, so probably from here, what do we want to do? We want to go find some nice spots to do some renders, maybe do one or two renders, but no more because the next thing is we need to put some lights and lamps in uh, and see what we can do with uh, everything, all of our tricks turned on. Okay, thank you, I'll see you in the next video.